I feel like this race, I have more eyes on me than anything else I've ever done. Uh, it's a dream, dude. This is everything that I've ever wanted and more. The race can destroy you. You've got to find a way to be resilient. I don't want to let my sponsors down. I don't want to let the USA down. You win Dakar, you, you become a legend. But if you're not mentally strong, the Dakar is just going to eat you up. Dude, this is it. This is what every child dreams of racing. This is what every adult watches. This is really the first time that an event of this scale has taken place in Saudi Arabia. If I have a perfect race, I feel like we have a chance to win this thing. What happens in the race happens in the race. Race in a factory Can-Am, being a part of the Monster Energy family, it's a truly a dream. A lot of hard work, but we're here. Mm. Rolling, ready to go. It's gone? Yep. All right, we are, uh, but let me fix my hat. And I've been waiting on Dakar uh, since last Dakar. So it's been, uh, it's been a long year coming. December 31st, and we actually land in Saudi uh, January 2nd, so completely missing the whole day, so. To win this Dakar, it's gonna come down to the teams working well together inside the car. Navigation is gonna be super tricky. Everything we've done in the last 11 months has put me in a good spot. It's an adventure for all of us. It's a new country, a little bit apprehensive for sure. To, to be in Saudi Arabia, you know, a country that you weren't even allowed in two, two years ago, I'm very blessed. Saudi Arabia has been closed to the Western world for a long time. It's only recently that with a whole lot of reforms that it's starting to open up. It's not what I expected, to be honest. It's very nice. I'm, I'm very impressed with the place so far. The cars arrived last night at 2 o'clock in the morning from the airport, so yeah, still a bit to do. This afternoon we've got a shakedown, so it's always the first few days of the race, always the hectic ones. Uh, we just got in three, four hours ago. We're here in Jeddah, so we're just busy on packing bags, getting our motorhome sorted out. This will work. The seat today, uh, Curry up top, uh, Sean and Kyle in the back, chilling. We're trying to bring as much home as we can here, so we got mac and cheese, cup of noodle. Right. This is my jam right here. Snack on the run, chicken salad, everything that I need for 12 days. So we try to eat as simple as we can because you can't have an off day. So this year going into it, obviously now I have a car under my belt. I feel like I'm more prepared. You just got to relax and, and flow with it. I think I'm going to crash at some point because I really haven't slept yet. So ah, adrenaline just keeps <laughs> you going. For me, you know, obviously I feel like I got the, the United States behind me and supporting me and I don't want to let them down. We filled it through the comments and uh, we built out a can have flag with them. No, -uh. did I have any people that commented? Let's open up and check it out. KM just stoked me out. So basically, we got this flag, a bunch of people commented and just some cool words about Dakar. Oh, it's huge. The race can destroy you uh, mentally. Oh, that is pimp. It's maybe the mental side is the most important of the race. What do we got? Checkers records, hammer down. We need an American to win this thing. That's what it comes down to. We need an American to win it. That is sick, dude. Thank you, bro. I definitely think that Casey and Sean, if they can keep it together, I think that they've got a shot. And we're far from home, and just getting any support is amazing, man. I really appreciate it. Dude, I want to do whatever I can for the country, and I want to win this thing. Even though it's Casey's second Dakar, Dakar is about experience, it's about kilometers, it's about racing. I'd love to see American winning Dakar. Now we are at a Can Am media deal, and uh, we're gonna go shake down our brand new race cars, and then uh, have some fun in some four seat Can Ams, giving some rides. This year, I've got to say, it's probably gonna be the hardest year to win in the side by side category. In my opinion, there's 11 drivers or crews who have got the possibility to win the race. Last year, I finished in second position with Armand Monleon. Gerard and Armand, they're Dakar legends. They've both done Dakar more than 10 times, so the experience and their race craft will be their biggest asset. But I think a difficult race uh, with a lot of kilometers, with a difficult navigation. Ranel is consistently one of the fastest drivers in the field. He's won Dakar in 2019. He's uh, won the FIA World Cup this year, so definitely he's got a lot of kilometers under his belt. Am I confident that there's a chance for Canem to win? Yes. Are we going to have to work damn hard for it? Yes. So today uh, we go and do tech inspection, make sure everything is dialed in. It's Monster Energy Canem. Yep. All right, so we're going through the checklist. Got like 20 different things you gotta get done in an order at a certain time. If you miss it, you're not racing. So we're uh, getting it all done. So luckily, I only got one more to do. We're out of here.
Dakar can be overwhelming, but that's why we have a team. That's why we've prepared for this. Do we have to do this yeah. too? A little animation of you oh, kind yeah. of like... Yeah, yeah, maybe. Ready? Yeah. Photos, smiling, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. <laughs> to overcome all the media and everything, you just gotta relax and, and flow with it. If Dakar wasn't a challenge, we wouldn't come back every year. We wouldn't have the emotions towards it, and it wouldn't give us the stories which we got. All right, so the day before the race, cars are in park for May. Uh, they are ready to go. I uh, feel comfortable, confident, and uh, I'm excited to get this journey started. I would say the biggest thing for me in this race is just to finish. I mean, I want to win, you know, just 12 long days and trying to make every day as perfect as we can. So we're here at the Dakar Village and they gave us a time slot, about an hour and a half where you can go and pick up your road book and everything and you're still trying to stay as cool as possible but it starts becoming more real. Once you get the first road book, now you, you know what you're going to be getting into. Oh. Sean has been phenomenal, man. We mesh well. And dude, he, he understands what I need and can deliver it when I need it. Somebody that says they're not nervous to start is lying. I mean, everybody's kind of on edge. You don't know what's what you're getting yourself into. You don't know what the stage is actually going to be like and all that stuff. So. The feeling is very nice. Uh, it's my first time here, of course. Whoa, some experience you also here. Uh, I absolutely love the car. I grew up uh, dreaming of these days. Everybody's got their different motivations for doing Dakar. For the drivers and the co-drivers, it's, it's the ultimate race. We won 2018. Last year we made third, so uh, ready for a fight. It's the longest off-road race in the world. Hopefully he got uh, good hands, he got uh, good skills. Vamos, vamos, come on! <laughs> it can launch careers, it can break careers. I'm excited to be representing for America and yeah, let's get this thing started. They need to really want to do this. It's not about money in the end of the day. It's about a passion. It's about racing Dakar. Uh, so, morning of. Yeah, it's going to be a long day today. So, I want to get the ball rolling. And we've already been here for five days and been dreaming about it since uh, last February. So, let's uh, get this party started. My biggest fear, I mean, probably getting hurt. We're far from home. But uh, around that, I mean, I just don't want to let the country down. I don't want to let my sponsors down. I want to have a good time. It's going to be a dog fight. It's going to come down to piecing those days together. It's going to come down to all our pace in some stages. Uh, we're going to be heading up in the northwest for six stages before rest day. The Saudi dunes are not as tall as dunes in Peru. And the way the wind blows off the coast, it has like a sharp top edge. So it, it's fast. Like you really have to learn flow. Today is a day you can lose a lot, but win nothing. So uh, yeah, we just took a good rhythm to stay in the finish line and stay safe. And they put everything at us on the first day. That is brutal out there. Rock, sand, super fast roads, and crazy sand washes. So we got it all. I'm excited for now. And uh, man, we got 11 more days. All right, we're at the halfway mark, doing everything we're supposed to be doing. We're uh, second place right now. We're in a good position uh, for the overall. But the fight has just begun. We, uh, we have six of the most grueling days ahead of us. We're going to do whatever we can to get this thing up front. <laughs>